In this week's episode, Marion prepares herself to become the goddaughter to the greedy Bishop Hartford. Baron Alwyn is only interested in Marion's family treasure. He is convinced that Marion's cross of gold will lead him to its hiding place. Meanwhile, Robin and his friends attempt to rescue Winifred from the dungeons of the castle. Baron Alwyn baits the trap with which he hopes to catch Robin once and for all. We are Nottingham Castle. Hey, Robin! If you're getting scared, you might as well go back now. Go back yourself! Ah! Just a rat! Huh. Doesn't scare me! Now remember, we've got to work together as a team. We've got to find Marion and Winifred and get out quick before we're captured. That's the target of our mission, okay? Oh, aren't we the bossy one? We'll do exactly as Will said. If the Baron catches us, we're finished, and so is Marion, right? I came here to rescue Winifred, not Marion! We'll save them both! What's the aim of the mission? To, to find, find and, and rescue, rescue Marion! Don't forget it. Much take these. Yeah, sure. Don't make so much noise with those big feet of yours. Oh, shut up, Robin. Oh, shut up yourself. Do you think they'll be okay? I hope so. We're counting on them. <laughs> Won't you join me, Baron? The Lancaster family treasure. Somehow this cross will tell us where it is buried. On the... Day I adopt Marion, you'll have to give it back to her just for the ceremony. Of course, it will be given back immediately afterwards. Yes, Hartford, I know. What is it, Gilbert? Marion's ceremonial dress has arrived from Lancaster Castle, my lord. Ah! Excuse me. Wait! One moment, Gilbert. I want to check the contents. Oh. If Alwyn sees what's inside the box, the finger of suspicion will be pointed at me. I must stop him opening it at all costs. Right, let's see. Wait, Baron, let me! This is my goddaughter's dress, so I should look at it first. <laughs> Wait, Bishop. Huh? It is considered a bad omen for the Godfather to see the dress before the ceremony. He is right, uh, Hartford. But mustn't tempt fate. So, Gilbert, have Lady Marion put the dress on and bring her here immediately. The bishop would like to see her wearing it. Ah? Uh -huh. Yes, my lord. Baron Alwyn, I appreciate your consideration of my desires, but I have a feeling you are up to something. Oh, Hartford, I am sure this will amuse you. I am setting a trap, you see, and for a trap you need a base. But what do you hope to catch? In the castle, we have a problem with vermin, young rats interested in freeing the girl. Oh, yes, Baron, one must be strict with vermin. You can show no mercy. Bishop, there will be no mercy. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to have to live the rest of my life here as Hartford's goddaughter? There's surely no way I can escape this castle and go back to the forest. Where's that music coming from? It can't be. Yes, it's the same tune that Robin played me that day in the forest. It was the most beautiful music I'd ever heard. I was so happy. I just wanted to stay there forever. Marion, I have something for you. What do you want, Gilbert? Please be strong. The night air is cold. You could become sick, and this castle is no place for the unwell. How was the food I had specially prepared for you? 
You haven't touched it. I'll eat the same as Winifred. Now, why have you come? Your ceremonial gown has arrived from your family. Ceremonial gown? <gasps> Not this! <gasps> this was... This was my mother's silk wedding dress. Oh! <gasps> What's that? <gasps> Shh! Quiet! Nobody must know that I've seen this knife, Marion. Take it. Keep it well hidden. Mm -hmm. Your parents sent this knife to you. You must decide how and when you need to use it. But why, Gilbert? Hartford wishes to see you in the ceremonial dress now. Why does a knight like you do such a thing? I'm no knight. Just one of Baron Alwyn's servants. But I can see you're different to him and his kind. I was, but now I am the same filthy breed as him. Huh? For now. Though not for long. <sighs> Nobody must know we spoke of this matter. Hartford is impatient, and I suggest you dress quickly. If she chooses to use the knife, I hope she picks her moment well. Hey, give that back! This is no time to be playing music! The soldiers might hear us! Look, Mary knows this tune. If she hears it, she'll know we're coming to rescue her. That's baloney! All I hear is Marion. She's the only one you talk about. Forgot about Winifred, huh? Remember, she's a prisoner too, you know? That's not true. I, I think of her, too. And anyway, she knows this tune as well, so shut up! Winifred knows it, too? How many times have I got to tell ya? Oh, oh, oh. Why didn't you say that at the beginning, Robin? Play it again. Hey, no way. It's too risky, and we can't take any chances. What are you doing, you little runt? We're doing this for Winifred. If she hears the tune, she'll know we're coming to get her. Yeah, and so will Olwyn's soldiers. Let's go! I feel sorry for Winifred having a miserable kid like you as a brother. Well, leave him alone! We're wasting time. Let's go! Now watch how a real man handles a rope. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Last one up, sissy! Oh, I can't stand this anymore! Get me out of here! Oh, oh Robin! Oh, shut up, will ya? Oh. Hey! Huh? Who are you? For me, see? Thank you. Hey, no problem. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's been a long time since I had a hug. Oh, I know just how you feel. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, let's go. Wait a second, will ya? Hey, what are you two doing over there? Give him a break. He's got a cramp. Let him catch his breath before we move on. A cramp? I'll give him a cramp. Amateurs. It's okay, Robin. We better keep moving. Come on. Follow me. Stick near to the wall. Okay. okay. Mm. <laughs> oh. Ah! <laughs> 
Who's there? Ooh. <gasps> Just a cat. Come on, boys. There really is somebody there. Time we weren't here. After them. Ah. Keep up, you guys. Oh. Oh. What is it, Will? Another cramp? It looks like... Winifred! Huh? Down here, guys! Huh? Help! Help me! Winifred, you okay? I'm fine. Ah. Down by the dungeons, get them! Ah. Winifred, there's not much time. Please hurry! <laughs> Leave yourselves while you can! If you get caught now, there's no hope for me and Marion! Go now! I'm staying! I'm gonna free Winifred! Let's go! What? This wouldn't be a good time to get caught, little John. Will's right! No way! Winifred will be back! Good luck! Get him! Let's split up. We'll meet at the top of the tower, okay? Then we'll make a plan. You're crazy! What about Winifred? We're not gonna leave her! We'll come back! Fire! Oh! Come on! This way, men! Please let them be safe. My dear mother, I always dreamed I would wear your dress on my wedding. But fate has brought me to a place that is worse than a nightmare. Forgive me, and please do not be ashamed of what I do here, for I have no choice. Ready. Now what's this nonsense about bad omens? How can you believe all those old wives' tales? I'm nearly 60 myself, and I wouldn't have become bishop listening to such superstitious fancy. Eh? 60 years of what? That's the question. Devotion, humility, and charity are all one needs to be bishop, and he has none of them. Marion, my goddaughter-to-be. From every angle, one can appreciate your obvious charms and uh, your wealth. Mm. Now, let's have a little look at you. Coochie, coochie, coo. Oh. Gilbert, what's the matter with you? This business is of absolutely no concern to a knight of mine. Keep your nose out of it. Understand me? Use the knife, Marion. Baron, I must inform you that four young outlaws have succeeded in entering the castle. <gasps> Hooray! Oh. Huh? Robin doesn't give up. Let me deal with them, sire. Calm down, will you? Those little fools won't succeed in their business because I've planned a trap for them, Gilbert. And now we have just the right bait. Finally, I have found an excellent use for you, my dear stubborn Marion. I huh? hope you don't mean to use my goddaughter in your trap. It's unthinkable! Hold your tongue, Bishop. I'm in charge here, am I not? You, Marion, came to my castle and offered yourself in exchange for Winifred, or oh, rather tiresome. My plans have changed. You'll be taken to the tower, and when I give the order, you will be executed. Executed? Marion. I'm going back to save Winifred. You do what you want. Leave it to me. I'll rescue your sister. Hey, wait up! Oh. Now listen. I'm going. You can't stop me. All you want to do is talk about Marion. I can't believe it. What about your sister? So what are you saying? I mean, some big brother you are abandoning Winifred back there in the dungeon, right? If you want to go with that chump Robin to save Marion instead, you go on... <laughs> oh, that hurt. What did you do that for? Why, you... Winifred's my sister, you hear me? You think I like leaving her back there, huh? Ooh! Are you Ooh. listening? Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Ah. There he ah. is! Up there! Ah. Whoa! Ah. He's up on the rampart! Let's go! Hey! That looks like... Mary.
Dorian. Ugh. Don't ever try to lecture me about my sister. She's my flesh and blood. The time wasn't right back there. We'd all been caught. Okay, I guess I hurt your feelings. I didn't mean to insult you. Let's get out of here before we get caught. Huh? huh? That looks like... Robin! Robin! Come on, I think you've seen something. Marion? I'm coming! Oh! Yeah, you're coming, all right. You're coming with us to the dungeons. Out of my way! And now he wants us to get out of his way! <laughs> <laughs> Your precious friend, Maid Marion, is going to be executed, and you're next in line. Uh, who says she's going to be executed? Baron Alwyn of Nottingham says that's who. Uh, no way. Uh, huh? oh. Robin! Hey, are you okay? You came just in time. Let's go. No, the Baron's going to execute Marion. Huh? We must hurry. Hey, Robin! I smell a fight! Hey! Uh-oh! Ah! Yeah. Use this! Huh? But I've never used a sword before! Doesn't matter! Just pick it up and wave it in front of you! But I... Uh... Hey, come on! You were strong enough to punch my lights out, weren't you? He's right. Do it! Nottingham Castle. Hmm. <laughs> Where is she? Oh, don't worry, Robin. Maid Marion is perfectly safe for now, which is more than I can say for you. Your precious Maid Marion is with Bishop Hartford. Who is? Marion! Robin! She's alive! I knew he'd come for me. Oh. Oh. Don't worry. I won't. Hold on! Robin! Marianne! Robin! <laughs> Very touching, I'm sure, but pointless, I assure you. Guards, time for crossbow practice. <laughs> The game? No! Hope you can swim, boys! Right. <laughs> so fire! Ah! <gasps> <Jump! gasps> <laughs> Is Robin still alive? No one could.
did survive that fall. Oh, Robin. my father and mother. Just you see. week's episode of Robin Hood, Maid Marian is anxious about the forthcoming adoption ceremony with Bishop Hartford. As the days pass, rescue seems further away. While soldiers continue their search for the rest of Robin's gang, the preparations for the Bishop's Big Day continue. Marian doesn't know it yet, but not far away is a young boy who is determined to rescue her from her fate. And that boy is Robin Hood. <laughs>